How's it going guys? So I'm getting ready to cut this big stump off here and I thought I'd uh, turn the camera on just give you guys a couple of kind of tips um, that I've figured out through the years to make this a little bit easier. And for one thing, this thing's like four foot tall. This is, this is a little bit extreme. Really, uh, this needs to be cut off once before I actually get down to cutting the stump, or at least it should be, but I'm gonna attempt this with this whole big stump on here, see if I can get it in one shot. A couple things um, you wanna do before you get started is get a shovel and kind of work around the base of the stump. I'm gonna get this as low as I can without getting the saw into the dirt because of course if you stick that chain in the dirt it's immediately dull and I will say just be forewarned that anytime you're cutting stumps they're really hard on chains so um, probably by the time I've got a couple to do for sure two stumps will be enough for me to have to resharpen a chain possibly even one stump will be enough so um, the more you can do to help yourself by getting the dirt out of the way the better All right, so we got a little bit of the dirt out of the way. A couple things you need. You gotta have some, some wedges. As you can see, over time, wedges tend to get cut up and eaten up and chewed up by saws, but they're kind of disposable. So make sure you got a handful of those around. Um, the reason that's important is we're cutting the stump off and I'll probably start from this side over here, but as we're cutting and as you start making progress to the stump, this bit, especially a big stump like this, it's gonna come down and it's gonna squeeze your bar, pinch your chain. So as you're making that cut, you wanna follow in behind and get a couple wedges on the back side. And then as I get closer to coming out the other side, I'll stick some in the front and the back. And that way the stump will mostly be sitting on the wedges and it won't be ch pinching the bar or the chainsaw as I'm coming through. Um, make sure you've got, you know, trying to, I've done this before with a, with a with a saw where the bar isn't as the bar isn't as long as the stump is wide and that's a real pain you have to kind of cut around them and um, it's just a it's just a time-consuming difficult process so for sure the longer the bar you can get the better when you're cutting stumps um, to make your life a little bit easier and then some obvious things you know make sure you've got some eye protection some ear protection you're gonna be right down there you know with the saw right in your ear and um, also very important, make sure you've got some chaps on. You're down there, you're on your knees, you know, you're riding close to that saw and accidents can happen. You don't wanna, you don't wanna chainsaw accident. That's probably one of the worst kinds. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll get the saw fired up. I think I'm gonna start my cut. I like to be, I'm on a hill here. And for my, my purposes, I always like to cut so that I've got the power head uphill and the tip of the the tip of the bar is kind of going downhill. That just is what feels most natural to me. So otherwise you're cutting uphill and that seems a little strange. So I'm gonna cut from that side and we'll see how this goes with this great big four foot stump. But again, I wouldn't normally recommend doing this. This is gonna be a heavy piece of wood. I can pick it up with the tractor, um, but it's much easier if I'd, I probably ought to cut this into a, you know, to cut that into a piece of firewood and then cut the stump. But for sake of time, we're just gonna go after it.
All right, so let's see if I can topple this big dog. All right, so there you go. That was, I don't know, that's pretty, my bar, it's a 27 inch bar and I lost it on the other side. So that's probably, that's a good 30 inches across there. But you can see how using those wedges in there keeps it. If I wouldn't have had that, I would never have got through it. It would just pinched and pinched and I would have fought it the whole way. And this is kind of a, uh, kind of a soft, well, the outer edges are soft but still fairly hard, still fairly hard in the middle. But, uh, and I will say too, that I just sharpened that chain right before I started, because like I said, this is kind of, this is heck on chains. And that one went pretty easy, so I'll be able to cut through the next one without too much trouble. But after that, it'll be time to sharpen again. So make sure you got a big enough saw, make sure you got wedges, make sure your chain's nice and sharp when you start. And if you do that, you can get pretty low to the ground. You can see I just, you know, got a few inches there. Um, and I'll either, this is kind of back in the woods a little bit, I'll either let it rot or when I have a stump grinder come in to grind some of my other stuff, I'll get this ground off. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys kind of a couple tips on how you do that. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. We'll see you in the next video.